Happy Tuesday. I'm Julia Espinosa at the First Alert Weather Center, and I hope everyone got to enjoy from their Memorial Day weekend. Now, the ridge of high pressure has definitely been dominating the interior valleys as we go towards Paso. It was triple digit heat, and we're going to continue to follow that dry and warm weather pattern going into your Wednesday. So again, it's all about the ridge of high pressure strengthening those temperatures and soaring to triple digit heat. Now, thanks to the marine layer for the lower elevations near side the coast, specifically over the south coast, we're not going to get as nearly as warm where our temperatures are actually going to be just slightly above average, and we could be waking up to those coastal clouds gradually clearing away during your late afternoon hours. Now that pattern does repeat itself going into your Thursday. We're also going to be seeing that heat advisory in effect. Friday will finally see some relief arriving towards the region. It will all be thanks to a trough that's going to be sinking further down south, allowing for more cloud cover, but also dropping down our temperatures. And you could see it here with your future cast model. It's going to be dominating all of Southern California as we go towards your Saturday and Sunday. Again, it is going to be feeling much more comfortable than what you have yet to experience and are going to continue to experience. You can see this heat advisory is going to be over Paso up until your Thursday. Now your daytime highs are above average anywhere between 15 to 20 degrees, so we are talking upper 90s to triple digit heat here a little closer out uh, towards San Ines. Your temperatures are also going to be soaring well above average tomorrow's daytime high expected 88 degrees all about the sunshine and unfortunately you're not expecting any cloud cover to really bring in that relief for your forecast. Now the rest of us here's a look at that fog. It is going to be moving on in during your overnight hours, keeping Goleta, Santa Barbara areas down south comfortable and again we could see some of the fog linger into the afternoon hours but we are going to expect a little bit more sunshine the further inland you go out towards the city we're still keeping mostly sunny skies in the forecast now by tomorrow you're reaching a daytime high in the upper 70s at 78 for santa barbara carpinteria warms up to 71 out towards santa maria another warm day at 80 degrees but buell today looking at the lower 90s, San Inez 88, Orchid looking at 82 degrees. Up north we go over San Luis Obispo County, Paso reaching 103. Atascadero, you are looking at 99, San Luis Obispo 82. Back down over Ventura, much more pleasant at 74 degrees, with Ojai also looking at those toasty temperatures in the upper 90s. As you can see, 98 degrees on Wednesday. That's a look at your forecast. We'll be tracking the latest at the First Alert Weather Center.